Hey, what's happening? Hey, let's talk about a video. I love making videos about topics that nobody else discusses. Two or three points here, very quickly. I'll try to make this video brief, right? People say I'm not very brief and I repeat myself. So sorry about that. I guess I'm not perfect like you are. <laughs> um, as someone that has tested thousands of lenses and who owns right uh, here over 500 lenses, I can tell you, what, well, uh, two or three things. First off, these lens manufacturers, and I don't care who it is, it's all of them. They want to create something new and awesome and special for you to make you spend money, right? You, you, you can't have like that old Nikon D4. Well, that's an old piece of crap. You can have a Nikon D850. I have both those cameras. Both of them are amazing. Same is true of lenses. Let's talk about where lenses have actually improved in the past 20 years and where the hell they really have not. Things that have radically improved are zooms. Also, wide angles, wide angle primes. We also have now, due to ED glass and uh, new lens design, really, really fast lenses, and I'm not against that. You know, I know people want super shallow depth of field, and of course Nikon has uh, trademarked the term noct, which is short for nocturnal. They're actually going to have a new mount and um, uh, for their mirrorless camera, and this lets them, even 20 years ago, people said, hey Nikon, you want faster lenses, you need a bigger mount. So they are having a bigger mount. They've, been, they've uh, filed patents on some really, really, really fast lenses. People say, why would you... This is a stupid question because people don't seem to think too much. They say, why do you need those super fast lenses with incredible high ISO? Well, hello, it's about depth of field control, of course. I mean, you can shoot at high ISO at f4. You have a lens that slow. It's amazing that today we actually think an f4 lens is really slow. <laughs> By today's standards, it is, not back in the day. Um, so that's where lenses have improved. As far as really good primes, they really haven't improved in 50, 60 years. Listen, girlfriend, I have some of the best. I've tested every super expensive, advanced, really fast lens that's out there, mostly for Nikon. I own every Fujifilm lens for the X-Series. I own every Fujifilm lens for the uh, GFX uh, camera. I've tested every Nikkor lens except for that ultra-rare uh, 8mm which is that ginormous 220 millimeter field of view lens. So I've tested all of them. I own most of them. All of these companies, Canon, Nikon, they're all blowing smoke up your butt. This notion that, oh, well, this new camera is going to out-resolve that crappy old lens you got. I hear that all the time, and it is epic BS. The people that tell you that crap, you need to ignore the hell out of them because they have no idea what the hell they're talking about. A, I'm not selling anything to you. Whatever the hell you buy, I don't make a dime. I'm telling you right up, straight up hardcore right now, that there's nobody on YouTube. Even if you think I'm a schmuck and a tattooed guy that's a bit too much of a, of a, of a prick, which is, is possibly true, I'm telling you the truth about this on lenses, okay? This notion that you need the, the latest greatest to make out, um, you know, the full potential of your, it's BS. It's absolute BS. There's a reason why Nikon still makes some of these ultra-hardcore old-style lenses like the 105 F2 DC Nikkor, the 180mm 2.8 which is an incredible, po that lens will just render like, oh my god, unbelievable. It's unbelievable that you people don't even have that lens. There's another one, like the 300mm uh, f4. Now which one? There's seven different versions of the 300mm f4. I have this, I've owned all of them. I, I still own most of them, like the 300mm AFS Nikkor. Now there's a really expensive lens with a phase Fresnel one. I have that lens. The only reason you have it is super fast autofocus with a silent wave motor and the fact that it's small and compact. But that lens renders much, much, much worse for thousands of dollars than does the large and bulky screw drive autofocus 300 millimeter F4 AFD. It's like, now, money is no object. You know, you could have either one of these lenses for free. You know, a portrait session. You know, I use the compression of the lens. Believe it or not, at f4 on a 300 millimeter has beautiful background blur. Beautiful. It's like, which lens would you choose? This multi-thousand dollar 300 millimeter face Fresnel f4 or the 
old 1980s metal heavy Japanese with a built-in metal lens hood, 300 millimeter f4 AFD, which is a screwdriver lens. Well, if someone knew what I knew, there's no way they inhale. I own both of those lenses. I've owned them all. I still own most of them, including the 300 millimeter AFS. That's also an over-designed lens. It also has a built-in lens hood, but it's polycarbon and it's not metal. The 300 millimeter AF4 um, AFD is a far, far superior lens for portraiture. Far superior. Why did I buy that uh, super fast face Fresnel 300 F4? Because it's really fast autofocus and it's very compact and lightweight. But you would never think about using that thing for uh, ultimate rendering. You know, there's just no way. By the way, tons of photographers, professional photographers, they use 300 millimeter F4s and 2.8s. Most of them use 2.8s now, which is a really huge heavy lens, which I've got four copies of. Of various iterations, the uh, AIS 300 mm 2.8, the AFS version of the 300 mm 2.8, which is really, really heavy, and the current VR version of the 300 mm. I own those lenses. Those are incredible portraiture lenses. But like a poor man's 300 mm 2.8 is the 300 mm f4. This is just one example. All of these companies have to stay relevant and generate cash flow for themselves, just like every other damn company. You know, you got the latest and greatest. It's got Two, uh, you know, mosquito hairs, better resolution. <sighs> Don't buy into this stuff. Save your, unless you are Daddy Warbucks and you could just throw money, you know, like, what was it Puff Daddy? What's that little famous meme of Puff Daddy where he's got a handful of $100 bills and he's just, he's, fl <laughs> he's flaking them out all over the place. And you know what I'm talking about? Unless you're Daddy Warbucks or, you know, Rich Uncle Scrooge. Um, don't be pissing your money away on that stuff. Ask me, I'll tell you a superior alternative that is absolutely undeniably far, far cheaper. Period. Here's two other lenses that I have. They're both 58mm F1.4s. Now, one of them is a manual focus. If you got a problem with manual focus, that's fine. I understand it. The 58mm F1.4 uh, AFS uh, Nikkor, a plasticky lens, really fast. Yeah, versus the Voigtlander, made in Japan, all metal, absolutely crazy. $400 versus $1,600. The Voigtlander is made five times better. It renders ten times better. The background blur, everything is just off the hook incredible. Um, all of these, then there's a ton of them. And they make fun of me, like over on Diaper Review. I mean, honest to God here, let's be serious. Do you really think the guy that's not selling anything with no affiliate links, you know, that doesn't give a, you know, I don't make a dime. I mean, why do you think I'm recommending some of these older cheap lenses? Because they're superior and they save you a ton of money. Don't buy into this nonsense unless you absolutely, it's like, well, I want some, you know, five millimeter depth of field. Well, fine. Go ahead and get that 105 millimeter F1.4, that gigantic lens from Nikon which I actually tested that extensively and I got a lot of test shots up, but it's got really poor micro contrast. And at the shallowest depth of field at f1.4, the images look really, really radically fake. They're also heavily desaturated because that lens not only has a high element count, it's got a lot of glass in it. And the images look straight out of camera, highly unrealistic. Now, since photography is an art form and that's what you want, possibly, usually not, but possibly, fine, buy the lens. Um, just realize that, you know, the latest and greatest stuff is usually a waste of money and there's something that's far, far cheaper that's made better and renders better, especially in black and white. Better saturation, better contrast. I know these lenses. I know the alternatives. There's a lot of people out there that, oh, this lens, how many lenses have you tested? Well, I own 12 lenses, but I've tested 20. Well, great. I own 500 and I've tested thousands and I'm not selling anything, you know? Everybody's got their hand in your pocket. They are all trying to blow smoke up your butt. And, you know, there are better improved lenses. I mean, I've recommended some amazing modern lenses. Like, this is it. This lens is incredible. The new Voigtlander 40mm f1.2. Epic tits. Tougher than woodpecker lips. Incredible. Amazing lens. 
The 70-200 2.8 G2 Tamron, a modern lens, amazing, fast, cheap, relatively so for 70-200 2.8, great. Recommended it out the wazoo. There is a string of modern, and I'm not against modern lenses at all. I always tell people, like the Tamron, 15 to 30. Oh my God, it's better than the Nikon, and it's also cheaper and has VR. Modern lens, incredible, amazing. I call that lens of the year for 2016. Anybody disputed me on that one? No. I'm sure Tamron loves the hell out of me, and God knows I've sold enough lenses for them. Where's my kickback, Tamron? <laughs> I don't get anything from it. I did get a free t-shirt from Tamron. It was for full disclosure. Um, they also did donate a free lens for a photo contest, but that went to a guy in Canada. So obviously that doesn't, you know, doesn't give anything to me. Um, it does want you to save money. You know, don't piss it away on, you know, the latest, greatest piece of plastic Chinese junk. And now I'm not always putting down China, but I mean... You know, even the Chinese lens manufacturers know that the Japanese stuff is better. Amusingly, if you go <laughs> if you go to Medicon's website, and I have two Medicon lenses, and I've highly praised them, it's, they really should not have this on their website because it's bad. Uh, on Medicon's website, <laughs> on the Zhongyi Medicon website, it says we use Japanese uh, machinery and Japanese uh, building. To they're basically, <laughs> it's a Chinese lens manufacturing company that's bragging about how Japanese they are. I read that, I was like, <laughs> did I read that right? <laughs> it would be like an American car company saying, oh, we use Japanese robots and our Americans are trained in the Japanese way of building cars. That is so self-insulting. <laughs> Eh, that's pretty insulting. They should remove that from their website. I don't think they realize how that reflects off someone. It's like, yeah, don't compare, you know, that's the Chinese. Uh, that's really funny, though. That's really funny. That's really funny. Just want you to save money. Just don't piss it away unnecessarily. I ask me, it's like, yeah, I'm looking at a, a 200 millimeter lens. Yeah, here's a really radical example. The 180 millimeter 2.8, okay? That lens is like $300 used all day long, mint shape. Do you know how much the 200 millimeter F2 costs? Like, yeah, but you know, the lens is that big. It's got to be awesome. It's made in Japan. It is really well made. That lens, new, that lens new is 6000 Even the lens hood for that lens is $600 for the lens hood if you needed a replacement. $6,000 lens. $6,000? $300. Guess one which has better saturation and renders better. If you don't tell people which is which, you take a, a portrait shot of two people, it's like, which one looks better? It's straight out of camera. We, we uh, printed up the uh, TIFF files. And people, nine times out of ten, I'll put money on it, will pick the 180 millimeter two point. I was like, well, it can't be. That's a $300 lens. And new, they still make it, Nikon does. It's $1,000 new. Used, they've been making it for a long time. It's 300 bucks used all day long. Can't be. This lens is $6,000. This lens is, uh, you know, $300 used. You know, while it is often true that you get what you pay for, I hate hearing that because it's a generalization that's kind of mostly accurate, right? You get what you pay for. It's kind of true in cars, sort of, kind of. Not that I'm a car expert by any means. This is not true of lenses. It's just not. Uh, people with a lot of money, I would even still say, do you know how big the 200 millimeter F2 is? Do you have any idea how big that lens is? It is a ball buster to even think of packing around. If you were to dare to hold your camera without supporting that lens, it would rip, it would molest your camera, it would, the lens would <laughs> yank the mount right out of your camera. It's very, very heavy. And it's very, very, very expensive. Even if you had more money than brains, like I got money, like Puff Daddy there flipping out the $100 bills. I need a meme of Puff Daddy flipping the hundreds out. Even if you have all the money in the world, I'll say, still, don't buy that bleeping effing lens. Don't buy it, because boom, 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 irrespective of price. Um, grumpy schmuck I may be, I still know more than all of these other YouTubers combined on lenses. I don't care what they say. I don't care how much they hate me. Okay? What are they going to do? Complain about me? Uh, what, you know. Am I selling anything? Do I have any affiliate links? Do I have an ulterior motive? Sure he does. He begs for donations. <laughs> That's as honest as it gets. It's like putting your hat out on the street and playing a guitar. 
Which is more honest, that or someone posting affiliate links? Like, click the link below if you're interested in buying this camera that I just reviewed. They don't tell you they're getting a kickback. That is far, far more dishonest than a dude with his hat on the street playing, yeah, dude, man, drop a quarter, man. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, my way is the most honest way. Not only that, it pays infinitely less than affiliate links does. Infinitely less. But everything is appreciated. Namaste, dosvidanya, uvidimsa, and aloha. I just want you to be happy and to save money. Is that a crime? No. Thank you. Peace out, Girl Scout.